Hey, what's up fellow farmers, and welcome to the first episode of the newly converted map from FS15, now on 17, The Gift of Caucasus. This is a really good map, it's really, really, really challenging. I do have it set on easy. I haven't given myself any equipment yet, I don't know if I will or not. Like I said, this is just really, really tough. You know, 25k starting out, the economy is completely different from normal farming simulator economy. Basically, everything works differently, but it works differently in a, a good way. Sometimes you get you get bored of doing the same old thing over and over again. It's just kind of it spices things up. Uh, one of the big things, um, you'll look. I know I have things in storage. But it doesn't show any right through here. What I have to do is, uh, what is it? It is four slash warehouses. Here we go. This is the farm food storage. This is my storage here on this farm. This is what I have in storage so far. This is a total amount of capacity in liters. What is that? That's, uh, can't count. That's a lot. That's a one million. One percent. So, and you can also look. I mean, I've got there's several other storages uh, all around, but it's it has its own user interface, which is really nice. I'm just gonna stick this up here out of the way for now. Uh, there are certain options that you can turn on and off, which I haven't done. Do automatic egg pickup. There we go. Uh, in the 15 version, when you wanted to buy fields, you had to go to the real estate agent. This is no longer true for FS17 version. If you wanted to buy a field, you would go to that field. For instance, let's go to field 12. Visit. And you can go to buy. Straight away, you can buy it. You don't have to mess with the real estate agent. Which is really nice because that, I won't lie, that was kind of a pain in the ass. But the real estate agent is still around in town. If you, uh, the same, the same uh, economy type deal was in effect, you know, if you want to buy any of these production facilities, you still have to have your rating, you still have to go through real estate agent you, know, you have to go through all the processes and this is what makes it really challenging you can still buy from these but you just can't own them yet yet which you know that'll probably be like 400 episodes to own everything so we'll get there eventually I really hope this series isn't 400 but hey who knows I tend to get bored so uh, starting equipment looks like we have the uh, Good old-fashioned Hurleyman. There is the Sampo Rosenlu. Really hate this combine. It's nothing, you know, personally against it. It's just, it's so tiny. And it's always the first one you get. That or the TC-590. And it's always the first thing you sell. Other than the truck. Uh, looks like we've got a New Holland. Typical starting equipment. And I wish I knew Cyrillic. I could be able to pronounce that. But we're just going to go with an MTZ. This is our front loader. I did see a weight over there. So let's go grab that weight. Reset drag IR. I think I'm going to stick with the older uh, type of equipment for now. You know, it's not expensive. And it fits the map. You know, you're just starting out. You have this old crappy equipment. You want to have that old crappy equipment. You know, like my weight. Here's a barrel with concrete in it. Which is nice. You know, I get that. That's cool. The only problem with this older equipment, you it does not have course play in it. You know, you have to do everything yourself. Um, kind of sucks, but I'll deal with it for now. I think the weight's a little too much for this tractor. It looks like it was lifting off the ground. So, what I will do to start out, I'm actually going to park this guy for now. But 
I really like this tractor. I mean, it, it fits. It fits the scenery. It fits everything. So we will run over here. Hop in the combine. The automatic gates, which is very nice. Oh, let's let's turn the radio off. Right for copyright. <laughs> All right. Course plate does work on almost everything else. Occasionally, you know, you'll get an old vehicle that it doesn't work in, which I'm gonna, uh, I'm okay with that. You know, starting out, it's a bit grindy anyway. I'll deal with it. Fuel 10. This is really 4.2 meters. I thought it was smaller than that. Oh, yes, okay. All right. Start southwest, head east, no headland, and start. Combine. And it's very tiny, tiny grain tank. Drive course. Uh, even if you don't have crop destruction enabled, if you do run over the crop in this, you will destroy it. In its final stage, I should say. So we'll hop out, let the worker do his thing. And then I will run over here, hop in the probably New Holland, and I'm going to go buy some fertilizer. The only problem is fertilizer is terribly, terribly expensive. I need to get fertilizer and seeds. So, what I'm gonna do... Excuse me, I had to mute there for a minute. I had to clear my throat. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set up a course for course play. And I'm going to drive there once, and I'm never gonna drive there again. Because it is kind of far. Love course play. And this is such a big map. It will really be hard to do everything on single player that you need to do. And course play just helps out with that. You know, you have this really nice map that you want to play. But it's so huge, and it's only you, that you can't really play it efficiently. Course play helps out with that. The landscape in this is absolutely fantastic. Uh, one thing you should note. Let's see here. I go away. Here we go. If you look, you can get things stuck. And you just don't reset them to the farm. You can, but you have to pay a towing charge. Which is kind of cool. I'm okay with this. Uh, the bigger the equipment, the more expensive the equipment the higher the charge. So keep that in mind. There is a convenience fee. So, let's see, I'll scoot in front of this guy. Like I said, we are going to head to the fertilizer it's actually the garden center, so we'll head there. Kind of sucks that I have a car in front of me because I want to pass him, but since I'm recording, of course, I can't because then he'll always pass and then end up running into traffic. And it'll just be bad. So for the time being, I think I'll just honk at him and check out the scenery. It's the next, right? Yep. I have gotten a driving violation, a penalty. I don't know what for. I don't know if it was speeding or whether I was just being an absolute maniac on the road. But I've tried to be a little more careful because the penalties are kind of steep. I think it was like 24, 2500. 
and at this point I you know I can't afford that flash him go faster please trains do work I've had to stop for trains up here to the left I think has some jamming music going on yeah I don't know if there's traffic from here to the garden center or not, but I'm going to floor it. Let's do 26. What is that? Is that a graveyard? Okay, that's really cool. I've never noticed that before. Uh, you do have to buy fuel. Uh, you have fuel on the farm, but it's empty. So you have to buy a tanker, and then take your tanker back to your farm, fill it up, and you can fill it back at the farm. So everything's realistic in this. You know, I don't just have a magical seed pallet that's plopped on the farm, and I just go next to it, and I fill up all my seeds, and I just get charged from my bank account. No, that doesn't work like this. What does work is I have to drive to Garden Center, Pick up my fertilizer and seeds, take them back to the farm, fill it up, and then come back whenever I run out. That is nice. And since it's so far, I don't want to do this every time. I'm just going to record a course. It's nice scenery, but I just don't want to look at it every time. Oh, map autosave, thank you. I will get intermittent lag. That is just the map autosave, I believe. Alright, almost here. Dust my camera a little bit. And here we go. Get course play back up. What I'm going to do is set a waypoint right there. The drive over this is automatically detected that it's a tip trigger. Excuse me. And I hit my fill button, and I can pick which one I want to fill it up with. Now, I'm not going to fill this whole trailer because that would be crazy, crazy expensive. Look at that. <laughs> 14,000 in fertilizer. But I have, you know, 4,500 liters of it, so I should be alright. Alright, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drive through here. I'm going to set another waypoint here just to be safe. And then I'm going to drive back to the farm. With my almost 15,000 pound, 15, pounds worth of uh, fertilizer. And I'll come back and I'll do the same thing with uh, seeds, but I actually won't have to drive this time. I'll have course play do it for me. So, yay, hurrah, do it once, get it over with job's done. I believe this is one of the stores you can sell to. And I swear that guy looks like Matthew McConaughey. That's totally Matthew McConaughey right there. Uh, right here is one of the warehouses you can buy for extra storage. And whenever I get back to the farm, I will show you 
cool thing about the uh, warehouses and the sheds and the barns. Let this guy go. His AI is kind of dumb. There are random events that happen to the uh, farmer or the player yourself. Like uh, one time I parked my truck at the real estate agent. That way I never had to go back. You know, I just parked it there, that way I could you know, fast travel to it, you know, switch to it, whatever. And I got a message, which I couldn't read because it was all in Cyrillic. But when I switched to, I, I saw where it said Monaco, it was like a 74 Monaco, one of the mods I have installed. Whenever I switched to the Monaco, I noticed it didn't have any fuel in it. So I'm going to guess that what that said was someone stole all the fuel out of my uh, out of my car, which was pretty cool. Yeah, I was upset. I lost all my fuel and I would have to refill it. But just the general randomness of that happening is uh, it's a really cool feature of this map and this map only from what I've seen. Fields aren't overly priced uh, on this. I think they're just, you know, they're they're a good price for the fields, given their size. Because the fields on this map are huge, like they are massive. Uh, and missions. When you do a mission, it comes into effect like uh, with your rating. Uh, the more missions you do, the higher rating you get, or you know, say you take on this massive potato harvest, and you get, uh, yeah, there, there's the map, map lag again, uh, but say you get like 10 minutes in and you're like, you know, screw this, this isn't for me, I'm getting bored, you'll get a negative on your missions, and what will happen is that negative will be applied to your rating, so you don't want to back out of too many missions, unless you just absolutely have to. be kind of careful here. I don't want to get this stuck in the mud. That would be awful. Oh, I do have the uh, fuel usage mod. As you can see, it's 25.7. The higher that is, the more fuel you are consuming, and therefore, basically, the more horsepower that you require out of the tractor and that you are using. Obviously you're going to be using more fuel. Well, it adjusts accordingly. I That's a really good mod. I missed that from FS15. I kind of found a version of it in 17. So I've been having a lot of fun with that. I like the realistic uh, part of it. You know, I watch a lot of Daggerwind series. And, you know, that's uh, his um, motto there, you know, realism is key. I enjoy that. But we are back to the farm. Let me save this. Uh, really hard to type around a uh, steering wheel. Oh, it loaded my courses from the other one. Nice. Very, very nice. That is cool. I am like a subfolder freak when it comes to my course play management. Like, <laughs> everything has a place, everything has a subfolder, and it's all nice and tidy. I'll see some guys, and they're just like, stuff everywhere. I'm like, why would I want to spend 40 minutes trying to find that? It's bloody awful. Okay, what you do here, now we have our seat. You're going to go to the other side. You can also, let me hop out real quick. Uh oh, I didn't want to change that feature. I need to default. Alright, there we go. 
because here you can fill uh, up with planters and sprayers from storage in the middle of the field. It's impossible to change the type of seed. It is only possible here. Discharge uh, from the drill remains of seed and fill the necessary. Google Translate kind of failed on that. The original map makers are Russian, but they've done a fantastic job, so I'm not going to nitpick about the broken English. Hey, you know, shit happens. I'm all right with that. You do fantastic work. Keep it up. I can figure it out. You've got me close. But what we do, we go over to this other side. This other side is where you unload. You'll see all the pallets in the middle there. They will start to fill up. And let me unload. If you'll look by the blue tanker, there was a bag that appeared. That is our solid fertilizer. So basically you go to the garden center, you get everything filled up, and then after you've got your storage, you are ready to go. Kind of takes a little bit to actually get started with this map, but once you do, the realism is like, you know, it goes to 11. So let's set this guy up to drive the course at the first waypoint. Drive the course. All right, you have a good time, guy in the black shirt. In the meantime, I will see if I have a tipper, which I don't know if I do or not. Other than that one. Uh, oh, I forgot I wanted to show you the uh, garage. So if you look here, it says you press O to open the gates. Uh, there are the big hangers over there, too. So let's say we'll hop in the Hurleyman, start him up, and we'll drive him in here. Shut it off. And I'm going to leave it open for now. But if you look, when I switch, I can switch to the Hurleyman and all of my active vehicles. Now, whenever I close the gate, You can see it shows the Hurleyman and what is actually inside. You can put more than one thing inside these, from what I've found. But what it does is it helps reduce lag, because there's so many scripts running in this. Uh, I've got so many mods. The map itself is running a ton of scripts. And you can get lag, especially like with my map autosave. It's going to save it, I think, every two or five minutes. Yep. But it helps reduce the amount of lag that's generated from this map. So if you look, I can't change to the Hurleyman anymore because it's completely taken it out of the game's ability to switch to it. For all intents and purposes, I don't have a Hurleyman anymore. It's basically, you know, stored it in, in the nether regions or the nether realm of uh, farming sim. Other regions, wow. Yeah, so basically we've got the Hurleyman in some farmer's ass. And now we're going to pull it out. <laughs> Nether regions, wow, that was an epic fail. But, if you look, there we go. I can switch to the Hurleyman again. Cool. So let's drive this horrible, terrible low horsepower tractor. Gotta get out and shut the gate. It's gonna bother me. And the light goes on and off as well. So while we're here, actually, I don't want to buy the Hurley. Or another tipper. What I want to buy is... Let's go here. I'll start at the back. Two hundred and thirty horsepower tractor, wow. 
Uh, let's see. They didn't give me a bucket. Oh, that feels bad. Uh, what I'm looking for is a uh, gas or a ural. I don't think I need one with 18,000 liters to start out. That's a little ridiculous. So, what I am going to get, let's see, and I'm going to take out a loan for this guy. Single axle trailer. I wonder if this I can get to. Yeah. I think I'm, uh, I'm going to try that. So, take out a loan. Hate doing that that early. Upwork. I will get one of these. One of these. And I will get two of these. I'm just going to stop him for now. And then I want to fill up um, right here. I'm going to go ahead. Seeds are cheap. I'm going to totally fill up with seeds. And I'm going to put this on the nearest waypoint. And drive the course. Did the person change? Okay. All right. Continue. I really hate teleporting, but uh, I'll live with it. All right. Up. Oh, I'm clipping through the roof. I'm too tall. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try, I, I don't know if this will work or not, but I'm going to try it, that's for sure. i hook up to this. Quick little thing, at least to start out, it's got a lot of torque. Then I'm going to hook up to this. And my thought process is I should, hopefully, hopefully, should be able to back up and get under this and attach this to that one. Don't know if it's going to work like that or not. Oh, yeah, it does. Good times. All right. Let's go empty the uh, Sampo. Let's see, which one am I selecting here? Uh, that's the first one. That's the trailer. That's the grain storage. All right. I wonder if the indicators change. No, same indicator, but it does let you know that you, uh, you have your indicator on if you can't hear the clicking. I 
I wish there was a way you could adjust your position in the seat like from ETS and ATS. That is really cool. Like right now I have to reset my track IR and then scoot down, physically scoot down in the seat. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do that. Alright. So what I will do, I will probably end up harvesting the rest of this off camera. Empty my seeds that I just bought, get everything ready to go, and then I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, have a good one.